Alright, sorry for uh, cutting off like that, but I think I actually am winning this battle. It's amazing. I, I think their morale just completely dropped to nothing, and most of them are either routing or extremely tired or just totally useless. Looks like his general's already run away. If I can finish off his other general, I think I'll be able to kill all these guys off and win the battle. Amazing, huh? <laughs> Who knew that it'd actually happen? Gotta keep on my toes here, though. It could easily turn around. Easily. <laughs> right there. Bastards. Well, screw them. I'm gonna order these guys off there. Come on, break you sons of bitches. Damn it. Those guys broke. Oh shit, these guys are coming Our men back. Flee the Fuck. Field of battle. Not good. Not this good. Well, his general routed, that's good. I can come around here and kill his scout riders. Oh, those guys ran away. Oh good, they're shattered. They're going away. Excellent. Hey, I think we're actually gonna win this. We may actually pull a uh cannoneer route after all. <laughs> Now I can finally come around here and kill off these stupid assholes and their stupid spearmen and their stupid cavalry. I'm gonna get over there and help my guys though, they do look kinda weak. The battle is turning in our favor. Good. It's pretty fucking close, I must admit. We may still lose it, but hey, we've taken out a lot of them. Oh, they're gone. They is routing, baby. They is routing big time. Oh boy, all those units over there just disappeared. Good. Look at those. Look at those guys. They look like they're routing too. Hey, they're exhausted. My guys are only winded. Huh? I wonder what this is. It's like it's like all my guys are more effective than they are. Well, what do you know? We actually won the battle. Took a lot of losses, but we won. And we obviously killed a lot more of them than they killed of us. Well, that was very unexpected. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun here. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, shoot him. Shoot him already, you're clearly in range. Ah, good. Oh man, look at all those guys getting killed. They're tired. They're very tired. They're exhausted. Oh, those guys are going to intercept him. <laughs> oh, look at all those guys that got killed on that one volley. Oh, oh, oh man, it was awful. For them, not for me. Just remember guys, every single one of these guys you kill is another one we don't have to face later on down the road. Well, huh. That was pretty good. <laughs> I killed every single one of them with a volley, that was nice. All right, that's enough. Close victory. That was a heroic victory. Look at those losses. Beautiful. I didn't even lose a single troop. That's nice. Well, unit, I mean. 
I lost a lot of guys, but I killed a lot of them. <laughs> Those damn horsemen. I consider that an, a, uh, an honorary heroic victory myself. I know the game never likes to call it a heroic victory unless you just do awesome in every conceivable way, but, you know, I didn't have that good of troops, so not much I can do other than just beat the shit out of him and hope he doesn't kill me. And that I did. So, hey, I killed off his general there. That's nice. And I will release the captives because I'm so nice. You guys were total cowards and you just, you know, came after me one unit after the other. But now, you are going to feel the pain. <laughs> Now it's spring, I can move my armies out. Oh, defending our capital, eh? I am going to send my spy up there, and I'm going to try to assassinate this uh, general. Oh, never mind, I guess I won't. I'll sabotage the uh, army, though. Nice. That's another rank. of withdrawal, eh? Hmm. Well, I don't think that's actually an option, so, yeah. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Come back some other day and frighten my enemy more than you frighten me. Alright, let's kill these guys. I'm surprised they didn't retreat. I guess they figured, hmm. I don't think there's much I can do against them, so I might as well just sit here and get killed. Yay! In the open fields where my enemy's cavalry are the most effective. <laughs> and we all know how effective my cavalry are. <laughs> Not that. Alright, let's just move them up. Fuck it, run them. Guys are tired. So my uh, cavalry come around here and flank them. They're the cavalry of Rohan. <laughs> I think the Germanic cavalry are actually pretty good. They seem to have really good stats for cavalry. I'll try to get as many of them as I can. Whenever I get a general unit from now on, I'm always going to make him a cavalry unit. Although I must admit, the Swordmasters are pretty good. Our general is under attack! Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit, they've got a lot of guys coming after me. Fuck. Riders ready! I'm run! Curse you! Warriors! Move out! Ah, the gold! Charge! Who charge? Hmm, that's interesting, they ran away. Oh, no, they're not. God, get away, get away! Get away from those damn spearmen. You, our hidden units have been discovered. Is it just me or does it look like it's in fast motion? I swear to god, it just it just looks like that. I, I don't know why. It's not, but everything's happening so fast, it's just so weird. I guess they're just really fast units for some reason. Well, that could have gone better. I could have lost a lot less cavalry, but I suppose I did kill quite a few guys. I killed just as many guys as I have, but oh well. I suppose that was okay. My guys did get more experience, so... Our hidden units have been discovered. Yes, we know that already. Somewhere around there. Damn it. I don't think I got him. He's somewhere. could have gone. Hmm. Okay. The enemy general oh, never mind, he's dead. dead. Nice. I guess he must have just been in the middle of all my troops or something. So, that just leaves these guys. Are they gonna get away? Yeah, they're gonna get away. They're too close to the red line. Oh, look at those two uh, trees there, kind of cut up, kind of look like totems. And that's it. Yay! We got revenge on them. guys off. I am not going to play this battle. He didn't really stab his face there, did he? <laughs> On the move, lads. Ah, fuck 
can just kill him. Uh, mission successful. Your next command. Good. Thirsty for battle. All right. So I think that's just about it of the Lugia. I mean, they've pretty much been crushed in every conceivable way. Now I'm going to build some blisters. There we go. Ah, I got a famous battle token there. Nice. So what you gonna do, Lugia? Are you gonna train a new army and then try to match against me? Or are you going to get kicked to the curb just like every other weak nation in this game? Here comes their turn. What are they going to do with it? Oh, they're going to train an army and it's going to run away. Wonderful. So I won't even have to face that. So I'll have ballistas and I'll have a massive army to kill off his main force. Or rather, main settlement. Mission failed. Oh, I created a champion. I do not care. Conquer bells? Ridiculous. When I conquer the territory that's right in front of my face, idiots. I'll try to assassinate this guy. Oh, I got him. Nice. All right. Continue the siege. Have this guy come in and attack. Actually, wait. No. Oh, he's scared. I don't like it matters. I've got ballistas. I can just easily crush the settlement. Alright, this will be the last battle I play here because I think my computer is starting to die. This is going to be fun. Ballistas are a lot of fun. Yeah, no kidding. It was a very adverse situation I was confronted with there, and I really figured out how to do it, you know. I let my allies deal with the uh, stronger rivals, and then turn on my allies and defeat them when I had the chance. There you go. Warriors ready. The artillery stands uh, ready. Yes. Ballistas. They are awesome. And you can also move them, so... <laughs> so what should we destroy? I'm going to destroy everything on this wall. That's right, no more insta-kill towers. <laughs> yeah, ballistas are ridiculously helpful. Oh, and by the way, these siege ladders are worthless now because I don't even have to use them. I can just use the ballistas to kill off the walls. This is going to be awesome. We're all going to like it, and we're all going to applaud me because I'm so much smarter than the game for building ballistas before anyone else is going to. Alright. Oh man, I love ballistas. Let's kill that fucking tower. <laughs> Our reinforcements have arrived. Oh yes. They're not that accurate, and they do waste a lot of ammunition at the beginning of their assault, but, uh... Like, right now, they seem to not be hitting that tower one bit. For some reason, they hit it before, but now they're not hitting it. I don't know why. Now they're hitting it a little bit. <laughs> How can they be overshooting? Are they really... Shooting right through it, but it's not even hitting it. Okay, well that definitely did it. The there we go. Has been destroyed. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Kill those fucking towers. Keep my guys from losing about a million goddamn troops. Oh, 
and by the way, don't bother with explosive or a uh, flammable shot, it doesn't do any more damage. In fact, it's less accurate, so in, in reality it's less effective. When it hits, it does a little bit more damage, but not very much. So after all, big rocks, I mean, they're pretty effective just by themselves. <laughs> they don't really need to do any more damage. Apparently I'm even damaging the wall, that's nice. The enemy's power has been destroyed. Good. I hate those fucking things. Let's try to kill off one of those towers. If I waste too much ammo killing one of it, I guess I'll uh, go after the other one. He does have another one up there, so... I just want to kill off as much stuff as I can to keep him from uh, killing off all my guys. If I waste all my ballista rounds killing off the towers, it won't really be a waste, so... There the we go. Tower has been destroyed. Let's destroy that one. I'd love it if I could destroy that one up there, too. And then kill the gate. And then kill the uh, wall over there. Yeah, once you get ballistas or catapults, or rather onagers as they call them, the this game turns into destroyed. a totally different game because then you suddenly don't have to waste about a million troops taking these settlements. And it's so awesome in this game because in the original Rome, the uh, barbarians couldn't build uh, onagers, but as you can see here, all I had to do was just build two buildings and I can already build ballistas just like the Romans. It's fucking awesome. And it makes perfect sense, too. I mean, come on. The Barbarians weren't that goddamn unadvanced. I mean, surely they'd figure out how to build something like the Romans. I mean, there's the goddamn Germans, for God's sakes. I mean, they practically copied the Romans in every conceivable way as soon as they found out you know, all their strategies and tactics. Let's look at Tudorburg. A lot of the... There were no German weapons found on the battlefield there. I mean, obviously the Germans won, but... The point was that the Germans and Dali had a lot of Roman weapons at their disposal. And the guy who betrayed uh, Varus, he was a the enemy's tower has been destroyed. he was a Roman general, or rather a Roman captain. So that's awesome. Look at that! I just killed off all of his fucking towers there. So now all I have to do is just capture that, or just kill off his guys. I think I'm going to kill the wall over here. Let's do that. Suppose if I don't get it, I'll just have to use the uh one of our units has used all its ammunition. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. Yep. Just barely. Oh well, that doesn't matter. I can just use the Towers, anyway. Levy. Ladder towers, I suppose. Fun. That was fun. That eliminated a lot of his offensive firepower right there. Trust me. <laughs> For all those who've seen my um, earliest parts of this Let's Play, they. And Dally will realize how much I hate those fucking towers and how ungodly powerful they really are. I mean, they practically did most of the damage in those early siege maps I did, but as you can see here, I mean, it's like those fucking onagers, I tell you, the, those are, are ballistas, those things are awesome. I mean, they just, they just totally devastated all those towers that were there. So now, all I gotta do is just move my guys up there and then kill off all of his stuff. The only towers he's got near me are... Those two and that one, and I don't really have to capture the center spot of the settlement. All I have to do is just kill off all of his guys. And he will attack me. I mean, if I go near him, he will attack me if I give him the chance to. Oh, I completely forgot about these guys. Huh. Let's get them on the battlefield, too. Uh, 
Lovely. Excellent. <laughs> God, how I hate those fucking towers. They're so irritating. Arrow tower. A hundred percent damage. <laughs> Look at that, now they're moving up. <laughs> Alright, let's charge. Levy. Everyone, get up there. I said everyone get up there. Alright, fine, maybe you can only order a few guys up at a time. Yeah, probably because they just can't fit. Oh, but they soon will. All those guys are going up that one ladder. lagging like hell now. <laughs> Good. Oh, I forgot the cavalry can't go up there. Right, let's leave them behind. Oh boy, that is a lot of lag. I better stop after this battle. In fact, I might even want to check it just a sec here. Never mind, the game's just playing tricks on me. I have over 400 gigabytes left. It's just doing its annual lag fest. Warriors ready. Oh well. Ready for battle. Pretty solid here, I must admit. Germanic warriors! Sword masters! It's probably because I've got all these guys on this one part of the map. Yeah, this is really slow. I might have to decrease the quality of the graphics settings. Let me do that, actually. I think I've got it on extreme, actually. Let's turn it on to very high, I guess. Hope it doesn't crash my game. <laughs> Whoa! I think the game might have just crashed. Wow, that is strange looking. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh boy. I think the game might be having a seizure. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That is so creepy looking. <laughs> Custom. Alright, let's see if... Turning, turning the graphics up will fix it. <laughs> Probably not. Ugh, what is this? My god. 
That's so creepy. Alright, I'm gonna turn the graphics down to the absolute nil. My god, this is such a strange bug. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Game is just having a seizure. It's so creepy. Now let me... Maybe maybe Fraps is fucking it up. Let's just see what it does. Okay, well, it clearly wasn't the graphics settings. The game itself is just laggy as hell, so, um... If you guys don't want to watch this, I'm going to painfully play through this anyway, even though it's, uh... Pretty much dead. The game is, uh... Totally dysfunctional now. It doesn't seem to be working at all. The banners are black sticks rising into the air. I don't know what on earth this is. It's probably one of the worst bugs I think I've ever seen in my life. Germanic youth. One thing I do know, when I play a massive battle and I'm recording with Fraps and I'm uh, playing Rome 2, I'm not going to adjust the graphic settings one bit in the future, because this, uh, this is even worse. <laughs> Man, I I really <laughs> I really don't want to play those battles again. Boy. Can I just auto resolve it? It'd be really nice if I could auto resolve it right in the middle of this battle, but it just doesn't look like it's gonna fix itself. Cause I think this is a programming error, right? I think the game is just dying because it it, it seems like the uh no matter how I change the graphics settings or anything, it just seems to die anyway, so Boy, look at this thing, it's just dying. I can't select anything. This is so wrong in so many ways. Oh boy. Oh man, this could take forever. Alright, fuck it. I'm not gonna record this. Just, I'll come back if the game doesn't if the game recovers or not. Mm. Man, I may I may just want to skip this part here. It, it's just dying. Boy, I may have to come back and play this battle again. This is ta just awful. I may have to play those other battles too. Oh well. Missile warriors! Maybe I should just rush the settlement gates there. Or, uh, that spot over there, rather. Yeah, it's just gonna take so long. Maybe I should just quit the battle here. This just, this just isn't working. <laughs> you win this time, game. I just, I just, I just don't have the patience to play through something like this. This just isn't working. God, am, am I even gonna be allowed to concede? Yeah, I know it's a crushing defeat. Hopefully I won't lose too many troops. Alright, so I lost 200 guys. That's alright. He doesn't have anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just just to get out of the fucking battle, you know, I mean, it's just irritating. Ah, oh, did I quick save? I hope I did. It'd be nice if I could just go straight back and just play that battle. Because that was lame, honestly. That, w that was totally unrealistic in every conceivable way. <laughs> I hope the graphics in the main game aren't screwed up as well. Not good, they're not. Retreat, my warriors! All Retreat! Back! Journey completed. All right, let's see if I quick saved. I, I'm not sure if I did or not. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is the... Save before or after the battle. I think it's the save after the battle, but... Who will? Oh wait, I, I think I know what it is. It was the save before all the stuff in this in this uh, bunch of fights. So if I have to replay those battles again, so be it. It doesn't matter. Oh. 
Never mind, it's right exactly where I wanted it to be. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Yeah. It was before then. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to use that other army. I, I don't even need it. It's just going to kill the game if I play with it, though. There's clearly some uh, performance issues still going on with this game. That's okay. It's not a big deal. A lot of these big high-end games have that nowadays. Too many graphics, too much programming, too much stuff going on in, in general, you know? Game just can't handle it. I mean, you can think about how many goddamn calculations are going on in this game at once, you know? You gotta have calculations for the for the view, you gotta have calculations for the weather, the troops, the actions the troops are doing, the way they're reacting to stuff, all kinds of things are going on at once. Must be completely nuts. Alright, so let's just kill off the settlement with the main guy. And his 11 zeal. <laughs> Alright, let's quick save here. And let's go. So I think what I'm going to do this time is that instead of uh, trying to kill off the uh, towers there over by the gates, I'm going to focus on killing the tower towers by the uh, wall over there, then just kill that wall section and move all my troops through there and capture his settlement. Oh. Okay. Palista! Yeah, so let's just kill these two towers and let those go by. That should be fun. Kill the towers first, then the walls. and actually physically aim with some of these. Let's see if I can do that. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, they already killed it. Okay. I'm gonna overshoot it. Yeah, I way overshot it. Oh well, at least I hit the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun, but it's a little hard to control, actually. Sort of see how difficult it is from the uh, AI's perspective. Mm -hmm. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. It's always good. All right, now I think I'll break Attack down the wall. See if they disappear Empire style. The uh, pieces the of the wall it is. Oh, they didn't, they just sort of disappeared. Good. I can just go through there. Now, I think I'm gonna attack him. S sort of bombard the general area. Oh, look at 
at that. Killed a few guys. Nice. Alright, I guess I can show off explosive rounds. Just to show you how inaccurate they are. See? Incredibly inaccurate. Only once or twice it actually hits something, and even then they don't really do that much damage, mostly just throw back guys. The wall's a breach! Um, until they break down the wall, that is. <laughs> that was actually marginally effective. It kind of does work just to bombard a general area with the ballistas. I never thought of that before, but it actually does make sense. Whoa, look at all those guys that got killed there. Wow. They were fools to sit there, that's for sure. Oh man, look at that. They're wavering and they already retreated. Screw it. Do flat. Do explosive round. It's more fun anyway. Rocks are more accurate, but I like seeing those amphora jars just unleash. Greek fire. Ooh, these look these two look really good. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Oh, well, they really broke open the wall there, didn't they? Ballistas are ancient cannons, are they not? And the rocket's red glare, and the bombs bursting in air. They prove through the night <laughs> that the Germanic use were still there. <laughs> the walls are Until they got completely massacred. <laughs> Say does that um, orange and red banner? Yeah, wave. Over the land of Germania and the massive dead amount of dead use. <laughs> One of our units has used all its ammunition. Nice. Alright, that's enough. Let's go kill him. Ready! Shoot! Orders! No need to use these towers. Oh hey, you can do the control one thi grouping thing in this game too, that's awesome. I think I'll do that. I like, I like doing that better anyway. For all of our sword infantry in the same group. These guys are a different group. There we go. Nice. Nice. This is exactly what I want. Oh, this feels perfect. All those idiots using those stupid non-numerical groups. Have I mean, you guys played any real RTSs beyond this? We're just playing set battles. <laughs> nope. Evidently not. Man, this really works well. This is exactly what I want. Damn. Age of Empires group group based stuff? Oh man, this is beautiful. Press of a button, I can switch between these two groups almost instantly. Wonderful. Wunderbar. See how fast that was? I just ordered both those groups to attack, and now, now I've just ordered those guys to move over there. Oh 
yeah, this is wonderful. God. It's almost like playing with your mind, you know, it's it's like you can uh, you can instantly react to stuff now. Our general is under attack. Wonderful. Oh man, I'm gonna use this so much more now. It, it works so well with, with virtually every other real-time strategy game I've played, you know, I, I almost always use it nowadays. These groups and everything, you know, the numerical groups. It's really nice. Whoever came up with this was really brilliant. <laughs> I think Age of Empires is the earliest game I played that uses this. I'm not sure if they had in Warcraft or not. They probably did, but... Uh, kudos to whoever invented this. exactly what I'm going to be using from now on. <laughs> yeah, the numerical groups seem to not really care about the way that your uh, units are grouped up. That doesn't really matter to me. I, I don't think preserving formations is very important, honestly. You really have to be clever to preserve formations as well as guarantee victory for your side, because if you focus on preserving from your formations so much, you'll, you'll, you'll end up losing every battle, because if you're really in, um, non-versatile about the way that you deploy your forces, you really are not going to win a lot of battles. I think that's why the barbarians just beat the shit out of the Romans when they had the chance. So they just they just could cover so much more ground and were so much more flexible. Oh, Father, be praised! How can I help? Let's get some ballistas in this army too. Just one. That's no, good. Good enough. So I don't think Bells really has anything in it, so... Yeah, I think I'll just kill off this uh, army here if I can get to him. Probably not. Okay. Whatever. I'll just move Carl down here to take out Bells. Belts. Hey, I never thought of this before, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm actually taking over Silesia here. That's right. That same territory that... Uh, Frederick the Great spent about 30 years trying to take over, then he finally took it over in the Seven Years' War. And that same territory that everyone fought over for so long. Just like Al just like the Alsace Lorraine. Now I'm just going to take it. <laughs> well, no one's really opposing me here. I've destroyed two tribes in one war. This is awesome. I really need to get my economy up and running, though, because I, I have hardly any gold coming in. I do not like the way that these uh, other German tribes are looking at me. I'm sure they're thinking that, oh, this guy is overexpanding way too much. <laughs> Oh, 
Look at that, the Mark of Money are attacking the Cherusi. Nice. Alright, let's get some of the first uh, civil tech. So I, I don't think I need very much uh, military tech right now. I mean, I've won so many battles, it's not even fair. Let's try to kill him again. Opportunity failure. Oh, they can do it again. You can do it again, eh? Or not. Oh, never mind. He just, uh... Either we learn more or recoup the cost. I can't remember which one it is. I didn't, I didn't really see it, actually. Oh, look at that. This one's got, like, double farmland. Ah, <laughs> uh, Silesia. What do you know? It is the territory I thought it was. Alright, well, no reason to use the non-ballista army to take out that territory, so let's just move those guys there, move those guys there, and... end the turn. This is going really well. <laughs> it's only like 269 AD. I mean, I mean BC, not AD. BC, and I've already taken over a lot of stuff in Germany. This is really nice. Taken over Pomerania and most of Saxony and a lot of stuff. Silesia, Bavaria. Pretty soon I'll have all of Germany under my control if I can keep my act together going here. Oh, what happened? Our hidden agent exposed. Oh no! The Rantai declared war against the Marcomanni. Interesting. Hercinia. No. This is good. Everyone's fighting everyone else. How nice. What the Romans and Greeks are up to. I bet Epirus has already been killed. Oh. Very well. Oh, no sense in wasting time. Let's go kill Bells. We have a mission to do it anyway. Thinking about just auto resolving this battle. Oh, 80% remaining? That's ridiculous. Clearly, the AI has no idea how to use ballistas. Alright, this will be my last battle, and then I'll uh, leave it there. The Dragon Slayer is a. Yeah, I, I, I bet you any amount of money you're not going to win this battle, idiot. <laughs> Mankind have been created for the sake of one another. I agree, Marcus. And my s and my and my sake for this guy is to kill him so that he doesn't uh, poison the earth any more than he has to. <laughs> snow. Let's fight in the snow. Yeah, this I didn't actually need the ballistas for this battle, but I just figured, what the hell, might as well have them. If I can have them, I might as well have them. Battle group ready! Warriors! Grouped and waiting! Probably gonna be in the center there. Don't think I'm going to attack the ground, but I'll, I'll just let him sit there. Alright, let's move my guys up towards the sides. Let's see where he is. Now, let's go to work. Ah, there's some guys. Is up. Uh oh. I don't like the look of this. I think I should probably move these ballistas off the side, actually.
like that. Wait until they get into position. And then... Unleash hell. Yeah, let's try the explosive round to see what how it does. Oh boy. Our hidden units have been discovered. Let's see how the regular shot goes. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that stuff just blow up everything inside. Swordmasters, if we can kill those guys, that would be awesome. The battle oh, is turning in our favor. Never mind, I think the regular shot is better. Oh yeah, it's clearly doing a lot more damage. It's not only more accurate, but it's also killing more guys. Like I said before, I, I think the explosive shot just knocks guys back. Oh yeah, look at how many, how many guys those rocks are killing. It totally makes sense. I mean, you know, even though round shot was very ineffective in Empire Total War, you know, this is very different. These are fucking rocks. These are not, you know, stone balls that are being launched at a straight angle. These are things that are being launched at an angle into guys. I mean, it's very different. Very different kind of warfare. This is why you have a varied force. Remember in Hearts of Iron? I had like virtually every kind of unit. Oh, here you go. I've already killed off almost half of his troops here just by bombarding him with fucking rocks. Look at all those dead guys. My god, he doesn't have a chance in hell. Painful. Oh, look at all those guys that got smashed there. The enemy general is dead. I already killed his general. Nice. guys are routing. I didn't even touch them practically.
One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, too bad. I can't kill more guys with gigantic rocks. Can't really blame him. <laughs> Bloody fools. I only lost eight guys. I don't even know how I lost them. <laughs> wow! Look at how many guys. Look at how many guys my ballistas killed. One of them got 341. Another 305. 235. Good lord. These were totally worth it. I think I'm doing more damage with these ballistas than any other unit that I have in my entire army. Nice. <laughs> I fucking love artillery. Kick him in the balls and then stab him in the juggler. I love it. <laughs> and then occupy because I'm so nice. And the Lugia are destroyed. Hey, what about the mission? Told me to capture bells. I captured it. Morons. What do you assholes want? Hm. They just own that one settlement? Hm. I think they do. Sarmatia, eh? Find the Sarmatians? Hmm. I probably don't want to overexpand too much. Such as it is, I'm already a little far out there. <sighs> hey, you can see here I've already captured quite a lot of stuff here. Mostly Eastern Germany, but, you know. Quite a lot of stuff anyway. Got a huge force over there. Plenty of guys to wait. Are they Hellenic looking? Yeah, they've sort of got a Hellenic looking. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe there's some of those guys that sort of migrated to the south towards Greece. Maybe they're like Illyrians or something. Well, they are Sarmatians. They're kind of similar to the Illyrians, I guess. Carl is dishonest. Not good trait. Alright, let's w see what Sigmund wants. Brotherly love. A member of your family has been murdered by a brother. The killer is insisting that he had no choice. His brother chopped down a sacred tree and used it for firewood. How dare he? Hmm. I think I'll do nothing. I think that's the most fair. Hmm. So I could either kill him, praise him, or do nothing. I think I'll let his father deal with him. I don't, I don't think the idea of a state-sanctioned execution is a very good idea way to run a country. <laughs> Not the Hatfields and McCoys destroy each other. Damn, I 
I've taken over a lot of territory in a short amount of time. Thank God for the four turns per year mod. <laughs> See what the effects of my uh, abstination did. I think my country needs a break. I just figured, yeah, fuck it. Don't move anywhere. Epirus seems to still be alive. The Etruscans are still alive. Oh boy. There are enemies at the gates everywhere. There's guys right there. There's guys to the south, too. Let's hope they're not allied. Wait a minute, are these the Russians? Or are they Polish? I don't know. We don't get blitzkrieg by the Poles or Russians. Hmm? Brotherly love. Oh, it's Carl. How interesting. The father accepted his son's story and the matter was laid to rest. I see. Yeah, I can believe it. Encouraged populace. Well, that's always nice. Yeah, Carl's a good warrior. I need him in, I need him in my army. How can I help you? What would you have? Oh boy, these guys are fucking horse archers. I think I want to focus on attacking them. Oh my god, are those the Scythian? Oh, Boudini, but they're probably Scythians. Whoa, that is a lot of horse archers. That is a lot of horse archers. Oh god, these are, got, these are like the Russians. Huh. Oh boy, not again. I'm doing fine in, in Western Europe and then the goddamn Russians have to show up on the scene again. This reminds me of something else. <laughs> Alright, well I think that's enough for one recording session, so I think I'll see you guys later. That was fun. I had a lot of uh, close calls there, but I think we stood to gain a lot and we, we did it, you know, we really... I think I really pulled my, a my, my act together and really, uh got it all going, so uh, I guess I'll see you later. Once I've released all these videos, you can see how I've done and everything, so bye-bye, guys, and see you later.